Hi. Yeah, so today you're all young and healthy and successful, but there's a 90% chance that you will suffer from a chronic disease in your lifetime, which is super annoying because I had chronic pain myself. And the problem with having chronic diseases in our healthcare market is that the healthcare market is designed to treat acute diseases, right? Um, but the older we get, the more we have chronic diseases. So what you do when you have a chronic disease is you go to a chronic disease management center. No, so I, I told them they will have a chronic disease and so now they're leaving more people. <laughs> um, so you have to go to a chronic disease management center at a hospital. And it's a bit like a rehabilitation. You can imagine like after surgery, you have this rehabilitation, but you can also go to these rehabilitation centers without having a surgery. For example, when you have Parkinson's, you have like this six week uh, a full day uh, therapy, but the problem with that is that only 2% of people who need that intense therapy actually get it at the moment, and the other 98% of chronic disease patients are treated with treatments against, against acute uh, treatments, which obviously don't work. So I, uh, when I had chronic pain for two years, I was, uh, I was trying to get the right treatments in the US, and every doctor obviously uh, recommended surgery and prescribed very heavy painkillers until two years after I started to have this pain, I met a pain professor and she told me that you have to go to a pain center and do this pain therapy for four weeks full time and it costs $50,000 and uh, there's a one and a half year waiting list to get in and I was like, well, it's great that there is something that actually helps, but this doesn't sound like I could ever do it. But I ended up doing it because I was so desperate, because my pain just wouldn't go away. And I was surprised that it was very boring and then that after four weeks my pain was reduced by 50%. Um, and the boring part was that we were sitting at this pain center the whole day for four weeks doing three things, physical exercises, psychological exercises and medical education. And after that I decided that we, that we could digitize that and offer it to everybody who needs it, right? because there are more than one billion people worldwide who suffer from chronic pain. So that's kind of what we did. Um, and I think I also have slides, yeah. So now we have 50,000 uh, monthly users and uh, we are the biggest back pain app. This is not a great achievement because there are not really big back pain apps in the market. Um, so we had that goal when we started uh, and then we realized, okay, that wasn't a big goal. Um, what we focus, so this is the story I just told you, uh, what we focus on technically is, uh, so we developed this therapy and then people told us, yeah, you now have this thing and you pretend that you digitize the therapy, but you have to prove it clinically. So the first step was that we had to run clinical trials to show actually that we have a, a medical treatment here. The second thing was that people said, well, it's great that you motivate patients to do exercises at home, but what if they do them wrong, right? So we started sending out sensors to users so they would put the sensors on the body and would do the exercise and we could then tell them if they were doing them right or wrong. But only 2% of people we sent those sensors to actually used them. And the others said, well, I don't want, want to put these sensors on my body. And then we switched to this approach that we just wanted to uh, our users to use their smartphone and, and just by using the smartphone camera to get recommendations in real time about how to do your exercises better. So this is what we now released and you can just put your phone on the floor. I don't have a video today, unfortunately. You can have, put your phone on the floor, uh, do the exercise and it's like as if you were with a personal coach or a physical therapist and now we're the only company that is uh, able to do this. So our, our vision is to be the number one at this intersection of digital therapy and computer vision. Um, and that was already my presentation. So thanks a lot for listening. And if you're interested, you can just talk to me. I'll stand at the exit after, after the presentation. Thank you.